Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. The fifth annual Sense of Taste is coming up. That, of course, is a huge event sponsored by Centerville Washington History. And here to tell us more is our good friend, Vicki Bondi. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Maureen. This is exciting. Before we started the program, I asked, I can't believe it's been five years. I, know, I can't believe it either. <laughs> yeah, it's really become a signature event for yes. Centerville Washington History, which is the Historical Society. The correct. Yeah. Correct. It is a great event and it's grown beyond our expectations, so we're very excited about that. And this one is going to take place on Thursday, September 6th. Correct. Tickets are $30, mm -hmm. and so it's really a fundraising event for the society. Right. Yes, it's something that we've needed for years, a fundraiser that would bring in money for us more than just the small things that we do, and this idea came up to get our local restaurants involved and see if we couldn't get them to donate food for the evening and so that's what they do they all they bring what they serve different kinds of foods and then people buy a ticket and they come and eat as much as they would like well i was going to say it's it's called a sense of of taste but really you're getting a lot more than taste you're getting yes so you've got entrees desserts and appetizers absolutely. right absolutely absolutely and and all for um, thirty dollars and it is at um, Benham's Grove so we should say that there is limited seating yeah I know it sells out every year it does it sells out every year and and when we say you know that it's you know come and eat what you people automatically start to think about the the taste over at the phrase or the taste in Greene County or the this is unlike any other kind of tasting The bacon event, fest right? or yeah, something like yeah. that. And ours is totally different from that. We're limited to 250 people because we are at Benham's Grove. It's under the big tent that everyone sees outside. White tablecloths on the tables. Right, yeah, we can see. Beautiful it, centerpieces yeah. that we have that are donated to us by Centerville Florist. And so those are gorgeous. And we have live music. So it's not your your typical taste that you go to because people are like, I'm not standing. It's really like in an line. evening out at several it restaurants is. and, and one is. night. It is, and so you're not going to stand in line and wait to get a little piece of food. You're going to go up and choose what you want, and we have a great selection of food from. Well, tell us some of these folks because they're all sponsors because they're all donating. Yes, this food for the evening. They are. Um, one of ours that's coming back this year that was there yeah, last year that was a huge hit was Old Bag of Nails. And they came and they had fish and they brought clam chowder and the people just went crazy over the clam chowder. Actually, they ran out and they had to go back to the restaurant and Great get more clam chowder and bring it back. Yeah. So they're coming back again this year. Um, Frickers comes, this is gonna be their third year. They bring um, barbecue ribs and barbecue chicken so, so you are getting some good food yeah, to eat. Yeah, and a substantial portion as well. A substantial portion as well. Uh, we're going to have Nellie's restaurant will be there, and they bring their roasted chicken. So you've got some entrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah, hearty entrees. So you've got some entrees. And then we'll have um, the new Kroger's over at Cornerstone. They're coming this year for the first time. And they'll be bringing some side dishes. So you'll have that, and then, of course, we have to have dessert. So we'll have Grater's ice cream mm. and Bellbrook chocolates. Okay. And then the melt check, check. <laughs> yeah, and then the melting pot comes, and he is there with a big pot of hot melted chocolate mm, and fresh nice. strawberries. Mm, and chocolate. you just stand there, and he dips them, and you say, give me another one and another one <laughs> and another one. And so you've got a lot to eat. And then I saw Bill's Donuts. Oh, Bill's Donuts come, and of course everybody loves Bill's yeah, Donuts. Yeah. But they bring um, tarts and some other pastries and things, a little bit more of a dessert type thing mm -hmm. than donuts. So um, lots of food from a variety of sponsors, and all, are those all on the website if somebody wanted more information? Those are on the website, okay. and they're on our Facebook page. Okay. Um, and give us the website for folks, because I know it's... CentervilleWashingtonHistory.org. Yeah. A lot easier than what it used to yes, be. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> so for $30, mm -hmm. you get that. And then I know you have a, a new addition this year with artwork, right? We do. We have a new um, a new thing we're trying this year. We have a local artist, uh, Cecilia Brindle. Okay. She's and, a well-known artist in the area. Yes. And so Cecilia will be there with some of her artwork. And um, 
She was there last year, actually, and unfortunately it was kind of a last minute thing, so we didn't get to promote her, but people loved it, and so Cecilia will be there. And then we also have another young artist, and her name is Hope Ewing, and her um, title or art is Pieces and Art Design. Okay. And uh, she's a little bit more modernistic, uh, but she has uh, paintings, clay work, wire work, and uh, so we're, we're trying to jazz it up just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you make a little a twist couple. every year. To, mm -hmm. um, even though you went last year, I mean, you have some different restaurants this yes. year, some um, different opportunities, and, and um, sometimes different audiences as well. Absolutely. So. And one, one um, vendor that you did not mention was Popcorn Phil. Oh. <laughs> For heaven's <laughs> sakes, Vicki. <laughs> My husband, Phil. Um, <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> yes, I have to say that. Um, pops popcorn every year with the, his little popcorn machine, and he's the almost, I would have to say, the biggest hit of yeah, the party. Yeah, he's the favorite stop. <laughs> and uh, he's been named Popcorn Phil, and every year everybody asks if Popcorn Phil is going to be there. And yes, he is going to be there, and he will be stationed down by the bar. So you can get a nice cold beer and a bag of popcorn. So, and the pretzel factory is there as well. So pretzels, popcorn, and beer. Oh, what, what more can yeah, you ask right. for? Yeah, right. Perfect evening. And we should say that there is a cash bar. So in addition, your your ticket price pays for your entree and the appetizer yes. and dessert. Yes. Um, and then there's a cash bar um, as well. So you can purchase, I guess, mm -hmm. beer and wine is beer what you'll be wine, having. Beer and wine, soda, yeah. and water. Yes. Various drinks like that. And we mentioned earlier that this is different from uh, most people's idea of what a taste is like. So yes. um, just kind of walk us through once you get there, which um, is very nice. It's great settings and it, and it does happen rain or shine because you are under a tent so you yes. don't have to worry about rain. Right. Once you get there and you check in and you find your table, now the tables aren't reserved unless you buy a a table of eight okay, so all together. So if, if you have eight friends and you are all coming at one time, buy all your eight tickets together, we will reserve a table for you. Otherwise, find a table, get your seat, and then go up. You're walking just to get up and, and go to whichever, wherever you want to start. Different stations. Different and stations and go and try the food and, and eat until your heart's content. We'll have live music. Eddie, the saxophone player, is going to be there and he is amazing. So eat what you would like. Go try the desserts. Go down and uh, get yourself a drink and then just mix and mingle and it's it's a wonderful atmosphere. Now will the evening. artwork be in the tent or is that going to be? It'll be inside? out in the lawn. Okay. It'll be set up out in the lawn, and that's just one more thing that kind of adds to the atmosphere that evening. And I know we saw a picture of Steve Feverson earlier. He's, of course, the president yes. of Center for Washington History. So I guess you'll do some introductions. and We tried to thank our sponsors, and we also have a 50-50 raffle okay, that night. Okay, there is night. a raffle. Yes, we go around and we sell these wonderful tickets, and then we have a 50-50 raffle, and uh, you know that means half for us and half for the winter winter winner and that is always a huge success and everybody really enjoys that and like I said it, it's a it's a fundraiser for the society and so that's just one more yeah way one to way raise way to a assist. little money for us that evening so how can you get tickets you can go online uh, to our website and you can get them that way through PayPal you can come to the Walton House Museum Tuesday through Friday from 12 to 4 you can call us and uh, you're going to be able to get tickets any way you want. Give us your credit card number <laughs> yeah. and we'll take them that way and then you can pick them up at will call that night. Okay. You can do that. Any board member that you may know has tickets. They'll, they'll, give, they'll sell them to you wherever they're at. Trust me. Uh, so there are several ways for you to get, for you to get tickets. But it will, it will more than likely sell out. We so have, you want to get your yes, tickets. We yeah. have sold out every year since we started. And, and actually this year Ticket sales have started earlier than they ever have before. So I think people are, um, they know about it, they yeah, enjoy it. And, it's a great um, night out. It's really yes. an event that you can go and, and meet your neighbors or go and meet people if you, if, you're, if you don't know a lot of folks. And yes. it's a really, fr I mean, you all are friendly. You can learn more about Centerville, Washington history as well. Yes. So, um, again, I guess the website is the best place, centervillewashingtonhistory.org. But I also want to talk to you about... Um, 
this isn't the only thing that you all do. You all are so <laughs> active and so busy. And I, I know I saw you at uh, Boomer Fest at St. Leonard. Mm -hmm. um, you're at Mystery Night Out. Yes. Really promoting all the good activities that are going on with the society. Um, but you also have a regular speaker series each yes, month. Yes, we do. And that will start in October. And that is held at um, the Enrichment Center at Rec West. Mm -hmm. And that starts in October, and we have a speaker once a month, and that will run through May. So that'll be revving up again here very shortly. October 16th, right? You've got yes. the quintessential home front during the Great War. Yes. So that sounds like a great topic. Those programs are in the evening. We have uh, refreshments, and the uh, programs are free and open to the public. And they're usually in the paper the week before in the local section. They're on our website. Uh, you can call the Enrichment Senior Center. They always have them as well. So those will start. And um, I have to promote the November 20th, even though it's a couple months away, because the history of Bill's Donuts. Yes, yeah, so we are so looking forward Lisa to Elam that. So Lisa Elam Tucker is going to do Lisa that one, too. Lisa will yeah. be there, and she'll be telling us of how her parents um, started Which is a great Bill's story. Donuts. It yeah. is a great story. They started it in Dayton and moved it here and moved it from right downtown down to where it's at now. And uh, that's an amazing family, and they have done a lot for this community. Yeah, so yeah. That's Definitely they are givers to the community. Yes, they are. So those happen once a month, but then you have this, I'm going to say, pretty terrific ongoing exhibit that's at Ashel Wright House yes. in celebration of Centerville's 50th anniversary as yes, a city. Yes, 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 yes. Um, <clears throat> that's one of the things that we are here for, to collect history and preserve it, but we also want to educate the community about the history here. And it's been a, a joy this year to um, do an exhibit on yeah. the 50 years of Centerville. Now, there's been a lot of confusion because people are like, how can the city only Found be Found it in 1796. That's right. <laughs> and how can they only be 50 but years old? But we transitioned old? to city status in 1968. Correct. We, so the... we have this, I think, amazing yes. exhibit at the Ashel Wright House. And it's open Tuesday through Friday from 12 to 4. And it's just wonderful because it shows the progression yeah. when they became a city in 1968 all the way through up to where we're at now. And it's not just, I mean, there's some great city stuff and great facts, but there's also, it's just a step back in time to 1968, yes. to the music, to the feel, to the vibe of, mm -hmm. of what the world was like. Yeah. And certainly in small town America in right. Centerville at that time, too. We've got some shag carpet and some 45s and some 33s and... Dial-up telephone. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, you know, what was the number one song that year and... Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. All right. Um, you know, what, lo what, what the businesses were then. And uh, it, it's a fun exhibit. Yeah. And the fun thing about this exhibit is there are still plenty of us around that can relate to it. So many of our exhibits are back yeah. in the 1800s or whatever. But, hey, I remember that. But this one, really there cool. are yeah. plenty of us around Very that relatable. can relate yeah. to this exhibit. So people are really, truly enjoying it. So that's Tuesday through Friday from noon until 4. And the Asheville Wright House is located right next door to Graders. So go see Graders. the exhibit and go get a cup of ice cream. That's or right. Or a sundae or a that's shake right. or something. All right. And again, um, for a sense of taste, which I hard to believe it's the fifth year, but Centerville, Washington history.org best mm -hmm. place to go for tickets so you can also stop by the Walton House but you're going to get you have 18 restaurants we mm -hmm. didn't even get through all of them no but um, you're, you get entrees dessert appetizers there's a cash bar all for $30 plus it's supporting That's Center right. for Washington history which um, has a great history real quickly if I've been meeting people who want to share all these stories from 1968 <laughs> if people have stories or items for exhibit they should call you? Just give us a call. Uh, go on our website. Any of the phone numbers that are on there for any of the locations, you can call those. And um, we will be more than happy to talk to you and uh, take whatever you have. And <laughs> we'll take whatever you have. We'll take whatever you have. And, yes, we want to hear the history and those, and those stories that you have for us. Well, thank you, and thanks for watching. We will see you next time.